Hi, welcome back to channel, train station 2. Alright, got first in the last competition, and I think that's the end of this very long event. So, um, this is the start of the uh, event itself. I managed to keep 3 of the 50 EP jobs, and that gave me a hit start. That propels all the way to the top spot. Uh, besides myself, I think there's another one um, that's in the competition at the early point. Alright, so at this juncture, I uh, know that um, probably this would be a good time for the last competition. So as usual, uh, I'll always advise that uh, it's important to keep EP head start so that uh, you can propel yourself at a good head start of self. Um, not only that, that you're going to keep all the event items in a warehouse as well as continuous uh, production in your event factory. Um, that said, uh, the non-event items you got to put into the uh, input and output tray so of your factories itself so that acts as an additional uh, warehousing. That is a problem of mine because I have a really tiny warehouse so if you really have an opportunity to increase uh, your warehouse spaces uh, you please do so uh, for me it's really tough at this stage right now um, doing those building upgrades is relatively uh, very difficult at the late stage I think so so uh, probably at the early stage of your game um, if you could do a lot of those building upgrades I think that would do you very good uh, preparation and a strong foundation um, in train station 2 is very unlike many other games you play um, there's no need to level up fast um, the slower you are the better it is because you are building a very strong strong foundation. It's more important um, you build a strong warehouse because that goes a long way. Um, you, you basically, trains will be only in the region that you are in right now. Um, they will not be of use um, after probably two regions away, which means that for example, if you're in region 1 right now, um, it will be useless. Uh, the trains in region 1 will no longer be required when you reach region 3. Why do I say that? Because normally in competitions, they are using uh, trains of the current region and the previous region. Right? So that's the meaning why two regions away you are useless in the uh, trains you have here currently so not too much concern of the trains you have um, what's more important is that warehouse follow you throughout all right so in the next moment we're going to be uh, sharing is the happy moment uh, we're going to claim this rare train Alright, so we have claimed legendaries, two of them, um, the uh, rare and the common, really happy with this. Um, dispatches are the other thing that I always emphasize important uh, to get more dispatches um, no matter what but of course not spending gems to get them but rather um, getting them to, uh, when you have the opportunity to do so. But I guess it would be a daunting task uh, in order to unlock a new dispatches. Normally the items they ask for is really high. So there's something you got to work out. And of course, besides warehouse and uh, dispatches, then we come towards trains, right? So trains in the current region um, is the one that you should really work towards while you're in your current region. Uh, upgrading them and uh, bringing the capacity to 80 for one of the legendaries is important. Um, collecting our uh, gold for hourly, uh, so-called so four hourly itself, you're able to get the maximum out of it if you have 80 capacity legendary so for me i'm trying to save a lot of legendary parts so we could bring to egypt and uh, like i said bring into egypt i intend to bring two million over uh, as well as lots of parts so there's something that i intend to do um, most probably i'll give up um, the special building uh, given the fact that getting additional building doesn't help right now because um, our Plots are all filled, <laughs> basically. I think that's, that's the uh, problem with uh, Train Station 2. Sometimes they doesn't really allow expansion of plots. So um, given that fact, we have limited plots. We got more buildings, it doesn't really help. So I uh, intend to basically um, just focus on parts. Um, since uh, we are running low on the legendary parts, um, I think if you want to upgrade the legendary to 80, I think there will be a lot of costs involved in both the coins as well as parts. And uh, the number of keys is another concern. Um, I have currently, I think, 2,000 plus keys. I'm hoping to bring at least 3,000 or more keys over to Egypt so we can open up all those containers. But like the experience I have so far, um, if we open those 100 container or 100 key containers, um, they will most likely be common. Um, at the start, I think it shouldn't be an issue because when we first started in, let's say, Egypt, 
um, most probably we need a lot of common trains like wise repeated so be it but um, gradually probably gonna spend a bit on the 200 key containers so they're hoping to get those um, legendary trains and uh, better so this is something that I'm gonna work on um, unlike uh, the other regions I believe um, in uh, Egypt would be tough uh, being the last region to play with um, I'm not too sure what's going to be the next region after Egypt because there's no announcement on it um, there are indeed players that at the 899 uh, they find quite boring because um, they really completed what they could and they're playing events um, that's about it so this is something I think uh, may probably Pixar should be working on because otherwise um, the players are moving faster than developers that's a bit strange though so um, given the fact um, currently it just stops at 899 um, but from level 1 all the way 899 it takes you a long while <laughs> playing train station 3 uh, probably then <laughs> but uh, in train station 2 um, I think uh, we've we been playing for years I mean generally the, the experience has um, been quite fun but the fact that uh, it's more revenue focused right now so unlike the past um, when train station 2 first started it's not so revenue focused so uh, chances of you getting good trains w was, was really high um, so we've been getting a lot of legendary duplicates but not in every region but nowadays um, it's really tough to get a single legendary so that part, that part of the fun is gone uh, but again, I mean, being revenue focused, that's uh, Pixel's focus right now. So, so be it. I mean, every single game, once it's good or too good, when there are many people playing, uh, they'll be moving with, towards that direction. So, uh, currently, I already know um, there's no uh, issue here because we are running about like 330 gaps of EP. Um, uh, surprising me. Uh, that why um, the players are slower I'm not too sure because I'm not been using uh, any gems or innovation center so I, I guess um, it's probably the EP um, I generate is 50 per job probably they haven't complete 100% I don't know probably they are stuck as well because um, sometimes you're stuck with some jobs pretty tough um, or uh, just lucky here because um, in the past um, when I played train station 2 I mean um, most of the time um, in first and there's a huge gap so, so that's that's very common in the past uh, but no longer in, in the current context um, so I find it very odd uh, the fact that this last competition was so easy uh, sometimes it's really lucky I mean all based on luck so uh, there isn't any gem spenders or really uh, those with a lot of um, those bucks that spends onto the innovation center I mean the union bucks or union dollars are hard to hard to get right now um, so probably people have spent a lot um, likewise for me I'm saving it up so eventually with a new building a new event coming um, I would always spend the first three competition um, the last three I will not spend any so there's another strategy to apply for sure um, resource prioritization is something always going to focus and mention um, in terms of delivery of items I mean if there are uh, choice uh, of, of trains required like for example they may say oh I need to uh, uh, region, uh, your current regions, um, rare train, and steam engine, a triple restriction job that I call it. Um, in that case, you do those jobs first because um, the opportunity of you not having that trains or sufficient trains to do the job is very high. Um, so you got to do those jobs first, and then the balance dispatchers can do the other jobs. So always put priority on those difficult jobs. Um, then you focus on the rest of the easy jobs. But sometimes um, things may not be so easy because um, you only have items for those uh, easy jobs, for example. Um, then you really got to work hard to keep building them first um, to in order before you send your dispatcher out to deliver the items. So always collect the raw materials um, as much as possible so you can do those um, items. But again, um, it's a fine balance because um, you get a balance with the warehouse spacing. Um, and the other thing you're going to do is really um, don't stinge on uh, uh, so-called uh, items to, to throw away. <laughs> so I know, I know it's very painful sometimes because trying to throw away stuff is not easy. But housekeeping of warehouse space is really important. Alright, so this is the end of the event.
All right, so we're gonna spend all my coins right now into this big boxes as usual. Um, getting legendary pots are really a, uh, something you can't hope better for. <laughs> uh, managed to get one set, so two sets of commons. That's really common. Um, then of course uh, I'm gonna finish up the last few jobs and uh, eventually gonna be in the way. All the extra items that's taking so much of the warehouse spaces. The event items will be no use. Um, this is my 125th uh, first, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, that will add on to the headquarter points and gradually that improves the uh, headquarter. Uh, eventually there's a reward to it, right? So that's something I look forward to as well. And of course that improves the headquarter status. Uh, that's something also you could look forward to. Um, like I mentioned, um, the buildings are already saturated. Um, there's no need to collect more. You know, get 54 population, I have more than that. So I don't think I want that special building anymore. So I'll focus on uh, parts instead. So I'll fast forward this part just to show you. Um, just finish up those jobs and of course uh, go for parts itself. Um, of course, then the balance I will spend on keys. Alright, thank you for watching. I think it's been a long event. Time for a good rest and goodbye. Take care.